Welcome seventh grade to your seventh humanities class on Google Classroom. We are so excited to be working with you to help you study for your competency testing. Gianna and I will be sharing the duties of making the lessons and looking at the assignments on this course. Make sure you're checking your Google Classroom pretty frequently and please feel free to reach out to either of us, Jenny or myself, with any questions you might have. We look forward to having you in class again. Happy. And today we're going to review the present simple tense. You're probably wondering, why are we reviewing the present simple? We've already done this in class. Well, the present simple tense is one of your competencies. So in order to move on to the next grade, you need to be able to read, write, and speak using the present simple tense perfectly, or as close to perfect as you can get, okay? So today, we are gonna practice and review so you can start studying for your competency testing. So, before we start, let's focus. Let's focus hard, just like Scooby and the gang do when they're trying to solve a mystery, okay? Make sure you have a pen, pencil, or piece of paper with you so you can practice and follow along during our lesson today. So, what is the present simple tense? I'm sure you remember this from class, but we are talking about the tense that describes the present or what is happening right now. For example, I, Gianna, talk to my students. I wear a headscarf. I smile. All of those actions are happening right now and they are in the present simple tense. So, when do we use the present simple tense? Scooby is wondering too. For two main reasons. When we are talking about things that are happening in the present, duh, and when we talk about habits. We talked about habits a lot this year. Habits are things we do every day or every week that are part of our routine. One of my habits is going to the gym. Every day I go to the gym as you can see here. That is a habit, okay? I use the present simple to talk about my habit. So, what is our present simple secret formula? Our secret formula is we take our subject, we give it a verb, and we add S or ES. Let's practice what you just learned. I want you to take your pen or pencil and piece of paper and I want you to pause this video. Look at the sentences below, right here, and practice filling in the verbs in the present simple tense. We do this all the time as do nows so I know you can do it, okay? Unpause the video when you're done and we'll go over the proper answers. Great work! Let's look at the correct answers. Let's start with number one. Shaggy and Scooby eat a biscuit. Eat is in the present simple tense in this sentence because the sentence has two subjects, Shaggy and Scooby. Great job. Let's look at number two. Velma, the subject of our sentence, builds a machine. Build is the verb of our sentence and we added an S because there's only one subject and that is Velma. Let's do number three, which is a little bit tricky. The group tries to solve the mystery. Group in this sentence is singular. The word is singular, although the number of people in the group is unknown. We don't know if there's five people in the group or 500 people in the group. However, the word group is singular, which means that our verb, try, becomes tries, and we add an es to make it plural. Let's look at number four. Fred and Daphne are two subjects. Drive, our verb, the car, great job. And number five, Scrappy-Doo plays, which is our verb, which we added an S to, with a toy. Great job practicing. Remember, you are responsible for knowing the present simple tense as part of your competencies, so keep it up. Let's do another practice activity. I want you to pause this video and grab your pen, 
pencil, and piece of paper. I want you to write six sentences about what you do during Ramadan in the present simple tense. Make sure every sentence you write starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Proper punctuation matters, okay? When you're done, unpause the video for some last minute review. Awesome job practicing. Remember, we use the present simple tense to talk about things that are happening right now in this moment, okay? And we add S or ES to the verb in our sentence to put it in the present simple tense. Make sure you remember this so you can practice more on your own. Now, go practice more on Google Classroom. Log into your seventh grade humanities classroom on Google Classroom and practice what I have given you for your assignment, okay? If you have questions or concerns, feel free to, to ask them to me on Google Classroom as well. Great job and happy studying.